Hello everyone, and we're going to create it. We're going to have a video on a temperature converter. So we're going to create a temperature converter uh, to convert um, temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius and vice versa. Um, so I'm going to provide a few videos in this lecture. Uh, this first one will be uh, just developing the interface for this application, and then we'll move on to the next part. So we'll call this uh, temp. Oops. I call it temp converter. And first thing we'll do is delete this, right click and do delete, maybe. Okay. And we'll now grab large text and move it over here somewhere. And we will call this uh, temp converter. Well, we'll just leave it large text. For now, we'll come over and into our strings. As we did before, we'll do string. Like I said, there's two different ways of doing this, but this is probably, I recommend this the easiest way to kind of get used to doing this. Um, let's see here, that would be, we'll call it title name, and we'll call it uh, temp converting, converter, I'm sorry. All right, and then we'll close out that and save that. We'll come back over to large text and Take that text out of there. We will make this an ID, Oops. as we did before. We'll do string, and we'll find title name. I think that's what we called it. That's not what I want. Cool. That's what we do. Let's see. Go back over here. Drew right there. That's what we've got there for that part of it. All right, so what we'll do here is we'll go back over to strings and we will create some other strings that we need to use in our program. So we'll do string name equals, and we'll call this one temp hint text, because we're gonna put a hint in here. You'll see what that is. Um, we'll call it uh, enter temperature. So what it is, is we'll have them input the information. So like if you've ever gone to a website and, and you started to type in, or it says username, it might have username highlighted in there, already in there. This is kind of what the uh, temporary um, hint is. We're just putting a hint in there, letting them know what they need to put in there. So we'll call the string name equals, and this one right here would be uh, Celsius button and title. That um, let's see here. C for Celsius. All right. Okay, and we do string name equals, and this one will be. Um, let's see here, real quick. F button title. F. So it's for Fahrenheit. And let's see here, I think that is it for now. All right, so now what we need to do is save this. And we now need to put in plain text view. Let's put it down here somewhere. Oh, oops. Let's undo that. That doesn't look good. Even them up there somewhere. Oh, do not like that. All right, so sorry, I finally got that to work. Now we need to make some changes because we need to call it. With, this is going to be an edit text instead of text view, so we're going to call this edit text. And we need to make some changes here. So we have wrap content. Content. Uh, we need to change that ID to be something else. We'll call it edit text instead. Um, let's see, I have a lot of stuff I need to purge out of here. Let's see what we need to do here real quick. So 
So we have edit text is what we want. Um, that's our ID, edit text, and then below edit text, we want to have a layout below, so which is ID text view. So we need to change that since we deleted that. And do edit text, and let's be nice if I type edit text in. Okay. All right. All right, so now we need to do this part right here. True. Android. This is what's nice is when you type in Android here, it populates everything for you. And we need to do layout. Then we need to do margin top. Oops. Hmm. Layout margin top. Oh, I'm an idiot. Margin top is an actual number. That's not I'm so I'm thinking it's a Boolean false, but we want twenty. 129 DP. Well, that should work. I'm just put this guy up here. Perfect. Much better. Now we need to throw in that hint under the height. We need to do Android. Now what we'll do here is we'll do a hint. And we want to put in our hint we want to put string. And we should have the temp hint text. Over there, awesome. Okay, now did the underline, and now we want to remove the text. All right, so we don't want this new text here. Correct. All right, that's what we wanted. Now it says enter temperature. So we have wrap content. Yeah. So what we did here is we tied in our um, temp hint, which is basically when you run, it'll say enter temperature. It's using our string over here, which says enter temperature. So that's definitely what we wanted. All right, so now the last other part in this video that we need to do is we need to add a button. So two buttons, Celsius and, and our Fahrenheit button. So let's go to button. And we'll add it somewhere. That's fine. Let's see here. Find another button. We'll make them on opposite sides. Yeah, that looks fine. So one will be one and one will be the other. No big deal. All right. So first button is um, will be our Celsius button. So we need a um, button ID. So we'll call it Celsius button ID. Come down here. And let's see here. We got true, true, true. We have wrap content. Uh, we need to make that string ID here. So we'll do string and then we need to find the Celsius button title. Right there. That's good. So true values. Now we need to do, I'm going to change the margin in here and make sure it's what we need. So we'll do Android. We'll do layout uh, margin left. So this way we make sure everything is aligned properly. So we'll try this number here uh, Android layout margin oops, margin right yeah actually it's margin start not right my bad and then we want to do 29 DP okay so now we go down here and this button is gonna be our Fahrenheit button so F button title um, our title ID is going to be similar. Instead of um, Celsius, we're going to call it uh, put here. All right, let's see here. So we called F button ID. All right, so I think we got everything here now. For button ID, we have it tied here, so let me click on design. Uh, 
it's not pretty. I think this could go further. But for now, this is it's a, it's a work in progress as we position it properly. So the last thing that we need here is our new text field. So we we'll have a text field that will have our result in it. So let's go ahead and grab this guy here. We want actually let me do that. That's wrong. So text field. That is not too big. All right, so the last thing is we put our text field right here. It was a little tricky to get it there. Um, I guess we could, let's see here, where is that text field at? Well, you know what, we'll save it till the next video. I'll show you in the next video how we wire everything together. So this is just video one on how to set this up. This is just the interface part of it. Thanks.